What's going on people? Mike C Town here. So this is a different kind of video that I'm going to do for you guys. Um, basically, I am in the process of moving away from my house to another house. Yes, I am finally leaving the place where I've been robbed twice, where kids bang on my door at 1 o'clock in the morning, where someone has literally taken a shit in my carport. I'm finally leaving this fucking hellhole. But uh, as I was packing up, I found a stack of a ton of like old pictures. And uh, as I was going through them, I was like, fuck, man, why don't I film this shit? Because I I've seen people make videos like this before, and they sometimes come out pretty funny. So, fuck it, man. You know, why not? Uh, so, yeah, l let's start with this one. This picture rules. I swear to God, man. I was a cute-ass kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no idea what's going on in this picture, and I kind of wish it was in better condition, but I absolutely love it. You know, that face that I'm making here, and it kind of makes me wish that I had kids of my own if they were guaranteed to be as cute as I was in this picture but with my luck and my karma I swear to god they'd be on some straight up Rocky Dennis shit. I have no idea how old I am in this picture but it absolutely cracks me up. I guess I've always been an angry bastard. This is my baby preacher picture and it actually makes me look like I have a gold tooth but I'm pretty sure that I've never had one. I have to ask my mom. This is me and my boy Travis in fourth grade on some straight up b-boy pimp shit. Look at those fucking light blue striped pants and the fucking white like jacket. Oh my god, it's so bad. Glamour shots! Acid washed shirt with that fucking tight ass background. Bruh, killing the game, killing it. This is me and my mom in Cancun. I don't remember what year this was, but god damn it, how fucking cute were we? Wow, yeah, this is probably ninth grade. This is my birthday party at the local Putt Putt in Conyers. Uh, you see me rocking my fucking cross color shorts, tight to death, don't hate. But uh, man, this is the most pathetic party of all time. This was a bit before I got really deep into punk rock, so I was just kind of like a weirdo at that point and I didn't have any real friends I remember that there was like five people at my birthday party one of which was the friend of this girl that I invited who I had this huge crush on we went to putt putt then we came back to my house after putt putt and uh, I thought everyone there would absolutely enjoy watching Faces of Death and uh, I don't know how many of you guys actually know what Faces of Death is but it was these uh, this series of movies where they showed supposed real deaths. Why in the fuck I thought that this crush that I had would want to watch this disgusting, gory shit? I don't know, man. Like, we ended up dating for like a week and she dumped me. And I, I don't blame her. I, I absolutely don't blame her. This is me again in ninth grade. Me and my mom went on a cruise. Uh, I don't remember where we, oh, to Jamaica and to the Cayman Islands, I believe. And this is photographic evidence of the first time that I was ever drunk. This kid rolled up with an avian bottle that I thought was full of water at first, but it was actually full of vodka. And me and the fucking nasty little kids that I was hanging out with at the time just all started sharing it. And, you know, I wanted to be Mr. Cool, so I took that shit to the head straight like a G. Just bam! and just threw that shit back and yeah an hour or so later I remember after we had broken into the, the theater that was on the ship uh, I remember laying on this girl's feet which is this picture here and uh, freaking out thinking I was seeing green people jumping from light to light in the ceiling lights ah fucking ridiculous man I didn't drink again after that until I was in my 20s and fast forward to 10th grade, where I was a total punk rock skate rat. The humongous fucking blind jeans there. The uh, the, the straight edge shirt, the hat with the meet his murder pin on it. Like, oh my god, and I wonder why I got picked on so hard. So me and my boy Scott, we did this zine in the 90s called the Sea town Shape. And we thought it would be rad to put pictures of ourselves in the zine. And for some bizarre reason, I thought it would be cool to use this picture. The afro wig, the fucking weird Crayola crayon shirt, the fucking multicolored braided belt, the fake chest hair. Dude, I was such a fucking whack job, dude. 
This is my high school graduation picture. <laughs> Dude, how fucking miserable do I look? Like, you'd think I'd be stoked to be getting away from the fucking nightmare that was my high school experience, but I look like someone just raped and killed my cat in front of my face, and I couldn't do anything about it. Okay, so this was probably 1997, if I had to guess. Uh, this shit is so swag. So let's start from the top and go down. You probably can't tell, but the hat says big old pimp on it. I got some fucking heart-shaped sunglasses on. I got a pink Brett the Hitman heart t-shirt on, and these size 50 jeans that I got from the local big and tall store that me and my boy Brad used to go to. Top it off with your boy gripping a T. This shit is so hilarious to me. What was wrong with me, man? This was probably the same year, if I had to make a guess, but yeah, this is me and my friend Holly at a fest in Indianapolis. White jeans and a fucking Venom t-shirt with a goddamn headband. Why was I wearing a fucking headband? Oh my god, so emo! <laughs> so yeah, so this was this was my fake ass Neo Soul face. That dumbass hat, the silly ass fucking Lenny Kravitz bell bottoms, that shitty ass faux tee that's on my face. I seriously thought I was so goddamn cool. Like I look like some whack ass wannabe poet, like fucking Travis Mooncrow or some shit. Girl, you are the sun to my moon. When you rise, I want to rise too. Your heart is like the clouds in the sky. In my eyes, you look into my soul and I want to die. I want to die. I want to die in your eyes. Yeah, so... <laughs> So this was our first tour. This was our drummer, Zach. And uh, he's wearing some pink booty shorts. And look, the story with these, we were scavenging thrift store dumpsters. We used to do that for some stupid reason. And uh, I found a couple pairs of booty shorts, these pink ones and some camo ones. I don't know how to camo ones. But uh, I don't know why we brought these on tour, but this is Zach wearing them doing some kind of weird ass dance. And the best part about this picture isn't so much Zach's ass in these fucking booty shorts. It's Ted, our bassist's face. Like, look, he looks so fucking fortified. He looks like he looks like he wants to throw up. Oh my god, this picture is so good. This is also a tour picture. Uh, there's a few terrible things going on in this picture. First off, my fucking hair. Like, why did no one tell me that I look like an asshole with this fucking shave around? It's so fucking bad. The other terrible thing is this whack-ass mannequin that we had with us. I don't remember where I got this thing from, but I remember I put corpse paint on it and drew a big pentagram on his chest, and I think I wrote, like, evil or something, like, as a rocker across his stomach. Then for some reason, we took it on tour with us, and I put it on stage every show we played. So fucking lame. So this is my band when we played a fest in Gainesville, Florida in probably 98 if I had to make a guess. But this is probably the scariest picture I've ever seen in me. Like I look like a crazed person. This is shortly before I bashed my head in and knocked myself out in the middle of our show. Fucking metal. This was probably 2002 if I had to make a guess. But uh, this was when me, my girlfriend at the time, aka my current bestie Melissa, and my boy Henry, uh, we flew to Philly to see him's very first U.S. performance at some stupid fucking event that that douchebag Bam Margera put together. We hung around for a while after the show. We ended up meeting Bill Avallo, uh, the singer of him, and he was seriously one of the nicest guys I have ever met in my entire life. So this was a really, really cool experience. Am I got so fucking emo? Bruh. This, <laughs> this picture is so swagalicious. Swagasaurus Rex. Bruh, so goddamn tight. Those tight ass jeans, that Mr. Rogers ass cardigan, that heart belt buckle, the fucking pepper spray, AKA my pepper gat, hanging on my waist. Like this shit is fucking hilarious. I love this picture, man. 
repping that C-Town all motherfucking day, bro. So that's it. I, I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy this. I sure as shit did looking at these fucking terrible pictures. And believe it or not, I have stacks more. So uh, if this video was actually worth a shit, maybe I'll do another one of these uh, at some point. But yeah, for now, that's it. And uh, you know how we do in these motherfucking streets? Thank you for living. Thank you for loving. Thank you for being you. And I'll see you guys next time. Aight!